We are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies. The first target that I had with Iconic Underground was a dream of mine, um, Joey Beltram. His track, his seminal track, his 14th, 15th track, Energy Flash changed the whole dance music scene. And it, his track introduced me to the harder elements in dance music. So I would have grown up with the pre-house, uh, 88, 89, Second Summer of Love, that kind of stuff, all the piano, Italio, fucking stuff. It was the uplifting stuff. Then I got a present, actually from my parents. It was a double cassette tape and Joey Beltram's track, Energy Flash, was on that, um, it was on that cassette. And when I heard it for the first time, I was like, what the fuck is this? It revolutionized my view on what dance music could be and I've seen some interviews with Joey Beltram over the years where it was like he didn't even know what he was doing as opposed it was just uh, he thought it was a, a darker um, house track but you know I thought I was making house music you know I just thought I was making house music but with a different edge The driving force behind the first issue was to get Joey Beltram, and I chased him for a year. Now, remember this, I had no credentials other than I'd worked on a previous magazine to give me any leverage with this guy. And um, working through his agent, and then the agent was bypassed, and it just became a personal conversation that I had with Joey. But it took me a year to finally hammer him down and I get a call out of the blue to say, listen, are you available today to do the interview with Joey? And, you know, obviously with the time difference as well, it worked out about like um, half 11 on a Thursday night and I was like, fucking drop everything. <laughs> drop everything. And, you know, I spent an hour talking to this idol that I had and um, he was the first front cover. Oh, 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 o